everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a review for the new Juvia's Place foundations so I picked up three shades they actually released four of them one of them was on the deeper spectrum and I knew it wouldn't be useful so I only picked up three but I have volume four five and six so I'll show them to you in order volume four I feel like it's going to be the most popular shade as far as like the one that people are attracted to because Anything that is a dupe or seems like a dupe for the Dior Pink Blush, which people are saying this is a dupe, is going to probably go viral or just be really popular. But I love how Juvia's Place, they always give a deeper shade and then a lighter shade. So that way if you want to go in with the deeper shade, you can diffuse it out with the lighter shade, which is something that I like to do with blushes like just alone so I love that they have a deeper and a lighter shade and I just say that I am also obsessed with the Juvia's Place blushes I have a few of their single blushes as well as all of their blush palettes volume 1 and 2 I really really love them they are super pigmented and just stunning so I had to pick up this collection like I knew it was going to do what it's supposed to do I'm trying not to say give what it's supposed to give but it's Juvia's Place. Okay, so this is volume 5. This is a Peachy Coralie Blush Duo. This one is a super intense coral shade. And then this one is a lighter coral peachy shade. These are just so stunning. I cannot wait to... It's. I mean, it's unfortunate that I only have two cheeks. Because if I had three cheeks, I would swatch all blushes on my cheeks for you guys. But volume six this one is i was so excited when i saw this one because it has like your typical orange blush but then it has like this super unique light peachy shade to kind of diffuse this one and blend it out so i'm curious to see how this is going to look on me because orange on my skin tone tends to look very very harsh which is why i was excited about this lighter shade inside this blush palette so before i go in and swatch these blushes on my cheeks i'm going to do some swatches on my arms so that you guys can see how they look how they swatch and get a feel for which colors you like starting with the volume 4 palette just gonna swatch these two this is how they are looking so pretty <sighs> right going in with volume 5 and they feel very soft softer than Juvia's Place normal formula for their blushes which I'm really excited about so this is how these two look these are so pretty I cannot Ooh, she's giving pigmentation mm. that was a really bad swatch I feel like I have to do it's okay it's okay whatever all right and then volume six that's how those look why did, why did i just swatch that all the way over there that is so pretty that is such a pretty orange And this is the lighter shade in the volume 6 palette. So here are the swatches of volume 4, 5, and 6. I will also insert some natural light swatches as well just because I feel like that's the best way to view a product. Um, but since I only have two cheeks, I'm going to go in with volume 4 and volume 6. I'm really curious to see how these look so let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna go in with the deeper pink first on my cheek and then go in with the lighter one afterwards to diffuse it out. 
and initially right off the bat I am getting some kickback so I'm just going to assume that it's really really pigmented so I am going to just like tap a little bit on the back of my hand and then go in because when I tell you Juvia's place be pigmented she be pigmented okay so a little bit goes a long way and I, I barely just touched the cheek and you can see it already like barely look at that it's cute she's cute okay now i'm gonna go in with this lighter shade Okay, we're definitely getting to the point where it's a little bit too much blush. Like I said, it's really easy to go overboard with these blushes because they are really pigmented. But nonetheless, as you can see, this is a gorgeous color. If you see me looking in the, the viewfinder and not at the camera, it's because it's gorgeous. And I just, this is stunning. And I definitely think it would make a absolute beautiful dupe for the Dior pink blush that baby pink color this is really really pretty okay now I'm gonna go in with volume 6 just lightly tapping it I lightly tapped it and you can see so much pigment on the brush so I'm gonna do the same thing tap the excess off and then go in That is very pretty. Now I'm going to go in with the lighter shade. Okay, so that is volume 6. This lighter shade in the pan, I would most likely not use it on its own depending on how it shows up on the skin. But these two colors together just make so much sense. They're really gorgeous. And I feel like this one combats this one from looking too orange and too harsh on my skin, which is what I expected it to do. So I'm really happy about that. Um, those are the face swatches for these blushes. These are phenomenal. Juvia Place you did it again what's new like these are stunning I am obsessed I'm obsessed I really can't say anything else other than they're pigmented they're beautiful they blend easily and when we talk about the packaging the packaging the artwork is stunning it comes with the mirror too and it is very easy to travel with so bam 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 like one after another it just keeps getting better and i did forget to go over pricing and everything so i do want to mention that on their website their full price like regular single pan blushes retail for ten dollars these dual blushes retail for sixteen dollars so you're getting an extra blush for six dollars more it's a really really good deal yeah like like i said it just keeps getting better but that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video and you liked it, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.